Hi. So, following on from my video earlier in the week, I think it's Monday I uploaded it, where I put together this uh, kit from Banggood. This is a function generator, um, can generate sine waves, triangle waves, and square waves. And um, yeah, so we put it together in the video and we hooked it up to the scope and we were seeing some issues with the waveforms. I expect you can see at the moment on the scope I've got what we had last time. We're trying to look at a sine wave and we've got a lot of ghosting, various other things going on in that wave and it's certainly not a very clean waveform. Okay, so here we can see the waveform in more detail and this is what we had last time. There's a lot of uh, ghosting on it. Um, if we get the right position you can see there's the odd line flickering, hopefully you see it in HD and we got a lot of ghosting on the waveform there so not a very clean waveform at all and nothing we did with the uh, settings on the actual unit itself we've got amplitude, fine and coarse uh, it didn't really seem to do anything at all to actually clean that waveform up and there's a classic example of the uh, problems there that we are having with it so I did put in the uh, video that I made a very big scoreboard error um, with this kit and uh, left it up to you guys so uh, hope you guys have had a chance to have a think about it and uh, really to be honest with you for me it was just a case of watching back the content while I was editing it and uh, spotted the mistake straight away now you get two of these little jumpers for the unit and as you can see here I've got one there set on the sine wave now of course there's this header over here and that's got the options there for the different frequency ranges so we got 1 to 10 Hertz 10 to 100 100 to 3 kilohertz 3 kilohertz to 65 and 65 kilohertz to 1 megahertz so of course we're not going to get a clean waveform unless we're actually selecting a frequency range that we want now I have still had some issues on trying to get this to uh, trigger uh, correctly on a lower frequency. I've currently got it set on uh, 1 to 10 Hertz so um, I'm actually just going to cheat and hit the auto button and see if I can get the scope to trigger on that okay so this is the uh, slight issue that I've been having earlier and I'm sure this is really just down to my uh, my knowledge on uh, operating the oscilloscope at the minute I um, I haven't had a chance to uh, to play with this and uh, figure out exactly how to use it correctly so that certainly is an issue f probably either with this or more than likely uh, with me so I will uh, look at that in the future so we we'll select a different frequency range we'll go for 100 to 3 kilohertz and uh, we should be able to see there we got our waveform there, so let's uh, adjust that a bit. Again, I am cheating there, but as you can see now, we have got a nice clean sine wave. So that's what we were obviously looking for originally, and that's what this kit is designed to, to be able to create, is a nice clean waveform. So as you can see there, I'm adjusting the course adjustment, and uh, that's working perfectly fine. You might be able to make out the frequency uh, down in the corner. Um, I've got so that's say it weren't I don't know how accurate that frequency counter is but at the minute I've got 147 Hertz um, so I should be to generate well it should be yeah 100 is the lowest um, on the setting I've got it on uh, but we can obviously scale that up um, that's at 4. Point, well, it's about 4.35 um, it's fluctuating a bit kilohertz there so that's certainly working fine um, and as expected uh, it's a little bit flat at the top but I expect that is just uh, purely uh, my uh, problem there it's so I need to uh, spend a bit more time learning um, how to use the uh, oscilloscope so what we do is we try a um, alternative wave so we should be able to get a triangle wave on the same output there so we'll switch our little jumper over to triangle and uh, we need to, yeah that's correct there so that should be giving us a triangle wave but we're not getting one 
Now I don't know if you need to uh, reboot the device, so I'll power it off and back on again. Uh, certainly not getting triangle at the minute. Okay, I did manage to get a triangle wave up before, but I can't remember what I did on that now. Oh, there we are, look. so I just simply uh, need to alter the amplitude of the waveform there. So there's our triangle wave there. That's uh, looking nice, it's working absolutely fine. And we see that at the minute we got a frequency of 207 hertz. Uh, that's using these software uh, frequency counter on the scope. So we'll try a square wave, so I believe that's uh, the jumpers are removed on those two. And then we need to change on our output lead, connect our scope to the one that says square wave. And as we can see, there is our square wave there. Again, nice and clean, everything's working as it should be. So you can see there that this unit certainly does work as um, expected uh, so long as you obviously remember <laughs> that you need to select the uh, frequency. I'm pretty sure that uh, most people won't make that mistake. Um, yeah, I was kind of rushing the video a bit I think and uh, didn't really uh, pay too much attention to, to that um, when I was uh, doing the filming. Anyway, so that's a brief follow-up video on this. Um, certainly works as uh, expected and um, yeah, nice little uh, kit really. It's um, just a shame as I mentioned before about the uh, situation of the screws but it's holding into this case fine as is so I'll probably just uh, leave it be for now. See you soon for the next one. Cheers.